So it's definitely been nice to have a little break. <laughs> After getting thrown into distance learning in the spring. This morning I'm coming to you from the bench right outside our dog park. Teacher Kelly Ryan has been kicking back a little. It, how's summer going for you? It's awesome. <laughs> no, I've been out doing just enjoying the sun and having some fun and relaxing. But the clock is ticking and she's already planning for the start of school in the fall. This year I'll be teaching first grade at Oak Grove Elementary in Milwaukee. Normally at this point, she'd be finding ways to spruce up her classroom. But this go around, her thoughts are on social distancing. Now I'm thinking, do I have to, you know, change my whole room setup? And about those crayons her first graders normally share, think again. We have to rethink how we turn everything, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> I get a little crazy thinking about it. <laughs> right now, districts all over are trying to prepare for multiple scenarios. Possibilities include students learning at school in person, remotely, or a hybrid of the two. Districts have until August 15th to submit plans to the Department of Education. Ryan says so far, she appreciates the safety measures already being taken at her school. But social distancing is going to be tough for first graders. Teachers are a little nervous about um, about the, the close contact with students. She says there's no way to know what a child is exposed to outside of school. And then they're coming back to me again. And she's worried about her high-risk loved ones, namely her 80-year-old dad. You know, whatever I'm exposing myself to, then I have to be careful taking that to him. So um, that part of it is a little bit scary. She's not alone. This post on Facebook has thousands of comments and shares from teachers across the country, wondering if they'll be forced to risk their or their loved ones' lives in order to have a job, if high-risk teachers will be required to teach, and how the sanitation process will work. I hope that they're thinking about the safety of everyone. But Ryan has faith it'll all work out. It seems like it's going to be um, an intense year for, <laughs> for teaching and for learning. Christine Pitawanich, KGW News.